The bump menu item will appear in calibration mode only if bump test function is turned on using the GX2009 user setup program. If bump test function is off, the bump menu item will not appear in calibration mode and you will not be able to perform a bump test. Before performing a span adjustment, perform a fresh air adjustment. To enter calibration mode, press and hold the air button, then press and hold the power mode button until you hear a beep, then release the buttons. Use the air button to move forward through calibration mode until bump is displayed. Press and release the power mode button to enter. The screen will display the gas concentrations that the GX2009 expects you to use. These values are the same as the auto calibration values. If they are not correct, you must change them by entering the auto cal menu item in calibration mode. Use the sample tubing to connect the calibration adapter plate to the regulator. Attach the tubing to the adapter plate on the inlet side. Confirm that the regulator on off knob is turned all the way clockwise, closed and screw the calibration gas cylinder onto the regulator. Push the adapter plate onto the GX2009's sensor face. Make sure the adapter plate is oriented with the sensor names on the adapter plate matching up with the sensor names on the instrument. Press and release the power mode button. The LCD will display the current gas readings and the instrument will count down from 30. Turn the regulator on off knob counterclockwise to open it. Calibration gas will begin to flow. Do not delay opening the regulator. When calibration after bump test failed is set to off, the instrument will display which channels passed or failed the bump test. To view the bump test gas readings, press the air button. To return to the bump screen in calibration mode, press the power mode button. Turn the regulator on-off knob clockwise to close it. When calibration after bump test failed is set to on and all channels pass the bump test, the screen will indicate that all channels passed. To view the bump test gas readings, press the air button. To return to the bump screen in calibration mode, press the power mode button. Turn the regulator on-off knob clockwise to close it. When calibration after bump test failed is set to on, and if any channel fails the bump test, the instrument will beep and the calibration is immediately and automatically started. Continue to apply calibration gas. At the end of the calibration, the instrument displays the results from both the bump test and the calibration. To view the bump test gas readings, press the air button. To view the calibration gas readings, press the air button again. To return to the bump screen in calibration mode, press the power mode button at any time. Turn the regulator on off knob clockwise to close it. Remove the calibration adapter plate from the instrument. Remove the regulator from the calibration gas cylinder. Leave the regulator connected to the calibration adapter plate for convenience. Store the components of the calibration kit in a safe and convenient place.